Good morning, everybody. It's Dwayne Lazar, Triple Nickel Trapper. It's been a while. It's April 2nd this morning. Still got lots of snow here. I've uh, got a few other days where I tried to uh, put videos out and I just petered out. and But I got some footage from that and I'll play some of that when I went to town and whatnot. But we're going to have a chat downstairs and... I'll let you guys know what's been happening for the last few months and how I'm feeling and everything, but right now I got no milk, so I'm going to go to the store and get some, and then we'll uh, carry this on downstairs. Looks like not too bad a day. All the deer are staying out of the bush now. Oh, and there's more up ahead up on the road. I think we can get by this guy without hitting him. Nah, he's crosses right in front of me, you dummy. Let's see if he'll do it again. Man, he's motoring. I'm doing about 60. Yeah, I should have got a shot of him hitting the ditch. He hit that snow and just sunk and stopped. A bunch out there too. They are just all over the place now. Everywhere but in the bush because the coyotes would be too easy pickings there. A couple more trying to race me. They really think I'm chasing them and I'm not. He doesn't know where he's going. He just crossed the road and now he's going back. Watch my snares hanging there. Yeah, he's going to stop and have a look. He looks like he's still got his little horns on there. No, that's just the trees behind him. Nice little bull, though. He was standing on the road for the longest time. I don't know if he's stoned or what his problem is, but he don't seem like he's in any hurry to go anywhere. Still pretty damn cold out. Oh well, see you later. I'm on my way to Foam Lake to uh, get my high blood pressure medication adjusted yet again. Can't seem to bring it down. And if they don't bring it down, it's just going to screw with the surgery I just had. So I'm not uh, interested in that because that surgery, they can't redo it. It's one of those things where next time it will not be working for me. Let me put it that way. But the roads are shitty and the snowing and there's just so much snow. They did the lane in front of my house. I was pretty much stuck in town almost. If it wouldn't have been for these tires, I would have been totally stuck in town. But we're on our way to the drugstore in Foam Lake. We're just getting started. We're only about five kilometers, three miles in, four miles in. And from what Pete said, these roads are good. And so far, they're looking pretty good, aren't they? said either take this one or West Bend so this is actually the uh, Wishart grid going the other way oh man I fully expect to run into a couple of piles of snow but I'm not sure if I'm going to get this video out like in the next day or two so it might be over the stretch of a, a week it's not like I do a lot in a week right now I'm trying to stay positive and hope this weather changes I appreciate all the prayers and all the well wishes and the phone calls I've been getting and you guys are awesome. I, uh, you made it a lot easier going through this crap. I didn't feel like I was alone at least. So I'm not going to single anybody out. You all did great. Some guys didn't seem to know what was going on but once they did know they were very supportive. Then I will uh, sit down here on this video and tell you what happened. 
and I'm uh, not a doctor or anything, but I uh, will tell you what I understand happened, and if I'm wrong, we'll change it. But yeah, it's a crappy day again. It's like minus 32 out there. Unreal. Well, I'm going to pay attention to what I'm doing here, because we got some really bad road coming up. It's all new construction from last fall, so I will talk to you guys later. Well, I decided to come back from uh, Foam Lake by the highway because every uh, farmyard on the main road there is piled snow and it's an adventure hitting every farmyard because the snow is deep there and it'll slow you down from one den to 50 or 60 clicks right now and throw you all over the place. So yeah, I'm just staying on the highway. I got a vehicle in front of me that's uh, anywhere from 100 to 70 clicks an hour and I can't see him because he's white. So I'm staying back a bit. I got all day, I got nothing to do. So I'm driving right around 98 or 99 right now. So, but he will slow down again. I gotta keep alert and watch for him. All right, I just thought I'd let you see what the country's like. It is an ugly day for March 10th out here. Okay, I better concentrate on what I'm doing, so. Just about coming back into Bank End here. This weather's crazy. I am, uh, for one, I am sick of this weather already. Could be uh, no snow in my yard by June anyway. When we get back to town, I will. Uh, I will just leave it running. We got uh, a kilometer to town, so I actually thought we were a little farther out, but it's hard to see uh, landmarks and stuff when you're driving. So now we're here. Not that you can see anything yet. This crap is gonna fill my yard even more. I'm gonna go in past the co-op because they cleaned the snow yesterday there. There was like a six foot drift on the road. I couldn't get through two days ago, I guess, but they cleaned it yesterday. All right, here we go. Here's where the drift was over the road. See, there's a, a fair amount of snow here. A little bit more, and you won't see that sign. And that's a tall sign, that's like a 10 foot sign. Look at the snow. My door on the side door is blocked, my big door is blocked. Make sure I hit my driveway. All the snow, look at that. My trailer parked there, you can't see it, but ah surely we're not stuck with these big new tires. Come on, baby. Oh, I know. Put it in four-wheel drive, that might help. Yeah. That shovel, I stuck it there a couple days ago and it was completely visible. Oh, big ridge of snow blow in by the truck, door high. Crazy. Like, look at all the snow out there. Yeah, I'm sinking 
end of May, beginning of June before this all disappears. Oh well, get my pills and get in the house. Hey guys, it's the 16th today of March. Pete came with the skid steer the other day and cleaned up some snow. My meds are uh, still making me dizzy and tired all the time, so I'm on my way back into the doctor to see about adjusting them. Man, last night my blood pressure was like 94 over 62 or something. It's crazy. I can't survive at that. I can't do anything but sleep and be dizzy. So I thought you guys liked to see my snow. I'm going on my way in now. I got the truck running and we're ready to go. I took my meds this morning and I'm dizzy and tired right now too. So let's see. Uh, hopefully we can make it. I uh, wanted to get a video up for you guys, but I'm at the mercy of this damn medication and it ain't merciful at all so all right hopefully i can make it to town well guys i went to the store and it wasn't open till nine o'clock so i have to wait for my copy and whatnot but i'm downstairs now at my uh my work table down here haven't been able to get down here and spend a lot of time working but i want to uh thank everybody for all your well wishes and prayers I had a pretty rough time there, as you know, at Christmas I got sick and I kept coming back too early and I ended up uh, giving myself pneumonia and the flu and I was just getting over my pneumonia and my uh, what happened on the 24th was uh, I lost the feeling in my legs. I had uh, my arteries explode in my legs. I uh, got to the hospital. They were pretty concerned whether they'd be able to save my left leg and I told them, oh, you guys got to save my left leg. They said they'd do what they could and still got it. So I had a double bypass in my legs to, I still have a, a lack of circulation in my left one, but if it ever warms up out there, I'll start putting in some road work and I'll get it working again. Uh... Yeah, I had the surgery on the 26th. I went in on the 24th. I had it two days later. Uh, I spent some time in Regina Hospital, and then because of my medication being a little overwhelming, I uh, had to spend a week in Winyard out here too. And even after then, I was still getting really dizzy from my medication. But now we got it straightened out enough where... I can function on it anyway, so I uh, show you a couple things down here. We got uh, some stuff to do here for sure before uh, next season, but like I said, I haven't been able to get down here because those stairs just kill me going up them. I did the laundry one day and I had about six loads and that was just about too much all the times up and down the stairs, but I'm sorry about not putting out any videos, but man, I just felt like dirt. I'm just horrible, so please forgive me. I'll try to make it up to you guys. Show you some stuff around here. Uh, it's not going to be much of a show, but it's a little update. Maybe we'll try and get talk to Pete and do a live. I know he called the other night apologizing for how busy he is and how he's sorry that we're not getting together and getting hammered and stuff in the barn. And I told him, yeah, I'm not ready for that yet, but I'm still not smoking or drinking. So feeling a lot better that way. I got to tell you, my, uh, my wheeze is completely gone from my breathing. But, uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say other than I was in rough shape and I'm feeling better now. I'm, I lost 75 pounds. I don't know if you noticed that or not, but I guess not sitting here, but I'm a skinny little guy now, but I'm sure uh, once I, you know, I haven't felt like eating. It just doesn't do anything for me. 
So once I start feel like eating again and getting healthier, I'm pretty sure I'll put some weight back on. But it's uh, kind of nice uh, being able to see ribs and my stomach gone. But I have these on the boards for the past three months plus. If you look really carefully, you can see Fox on the other side of the Cayutes. But yeah, I got a bunch of them to take off. I never got anything into sales, so, but what do you do? I was in a rough way, and I decided to take care of me. Oh, my goodness. And under these dogs, every one of those bags under there is a Cayute, too, and there is a lot of them, so. I was going to have somebody do them up for me and split them with them, but I think I'm just going to. As I uh, feel better, I'll do them. He's still got my man's hawks there. Looks good. Uh, got some coyotes hanging. Yeah, so as you can see, I got lots to do. I uh, I basically put everything on hold because I couldn't do anything. I couldn't move around or nothing. Had to learn how to walk again and everything pretty much. So, But that's uh, it in a nutshell what's been going on, you guys. So I'm going to try to put videos out again, keep them coming. I really wanted to hit a million this past winter, but... This slowed me down. The best laid plans of mice and men. You know how that goes. But yeah, I'll get down here and get these off and hanging. And I got to go see Ian and trade in all my broken rams. And be nice to see Ian again. Maybe get my income tax done when I'm in Yorkton. And I probably am not going back to work as a boiler maker anymore. So maybe I can get some fishing and... Trapping videos out if that's all I'm doing. I worked long enough my life. If it would have been over on that last little bit in January, it would have been a horrible thing. No, you know, no time to myself and work my whole damn life. I'm not interested in that. So, anyhow, guys, not too sure what you think of the video. It's kind of a short little. I just wanted to let you know what was going on and I wanted to make sure that I knew. And again, thanks for all your prayers and your well wishes and for checking in on me. I really appreciate that. Until the next one, you guys keep moving forward.